Hello Ross developers and welcome to the Ross questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross navigation, Ross with drones, Ross for autonomous cars, everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto Zquerro and today we are going to be checking a question I found in Ross answers, which is this one. Airbus receives laser scan messages but don't display them. So I, I'll be trying to find out what's happening here and answering this question. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now Let's start with the video itself. So I'm going to close here the Robotic Night Academy, also the, our YouTube channel. And yeah, basically this question says, Hi there, I made a dummy package that is publishing fake laser scan messages. I use this command to launch my package, then I try to display it with RVs, then he uses also a support command to uh, avoid any fixed frame related errors. And he says that everything seems to work great, only green checks, and I can see the number of received messages increase, but I don't see my laser scan displayed. I try it with a Kinect and package laser scan Kinect and it works. What am I missing? Here he adds his uh, a link to his code, which is great. And uh, yeah, finally, after some days, he answered it. Okay, I don't know if it's because I restarted my computer or my eyes were too tired yesterday, but my code is indeed working. The contrast, the contrast between background and laser scan point is very poor, but everything is well displayed. Okay, so apparently everything is working, but he uh, is not able to see properly this laser data. So let's try to reproduce this and, and see what happens. So for that we are going to use RDS as always and we are going to create a new project which I'm going to let's say, uh, call laser QA. Okay, so let's create this new this new project and let's open it. Okay, so here we have it. So first of all, let's open a new shell. And what I'm going to do is to basically, I'm going to clone this code because he provided it, so that's great. I'm going to just uh, clone his code. Clone. Okay, so we have our fake laser scan package here. Let's open an IDE so that we can manage it in a more graphical way. So in the CatKin worst case we will have uh, his package and let's see basically what we are going to use is this code here, the fake laser scan which publishes some scan messages which are fake of course because we don't have any any laser here and here we have the fake laser scan. Using some remote here. Okay, let's take everything, all of this out. Mm. Okay, let's try to compile this and see what happens. Catkin make. Let's see if everything works properly. It should. So, if the code he provided is correct. Okay, it's compiling. That's great. Semi lists, it's. English scan, okay, yeah. So this is still compiling. Excellent. So let's source our workspace. And uh, let's try the code. So ROS launch. The name of the package is, sorry, 
Okay. So it's uh, although the folder is called Fakeless Scan, the name of the package, as you can see here in the package XML file, it's beginner tutorials. Yeah. This is not recommended to do because it may be confusing for third-party users of your packages, but well, the real name of the package, as you can see here, it's beginner tutorials. Yeah, no fake laser scan. So let's do a ROS launch beginner tutorials. And uh, let's launch the, okay. It's complaining about the launch file here. Let's see, launch, launch. Ah, okay, I think it's here. It was missing this closing tag for the comment. Okay, let's try again. And there it is, now it's working. So next step would be to launch RVs and try to visualize this. So ROS run RVs RVs, there we are. And finally, let's open the graphical tool so that we can see the RVs window. I'm going to open it in a different uh, tab to make it easier to visualize. There we are. Okay, so here we have RVs, excellent. Now, okay, I saw that he was doing some command here to avoid uh, frame rated issues, but I'm going to put it directly. So let's see which is the frame where this scan is being published. Rough topic list. So the topic is. Uh, okay, rough topic echo, fake scan. There we are. The frame ID is fake laser frame. Okay, so let's get this frame and insert it directly here. Okay, fake laser frame. There we are. And finally, let's just add a laser display so that we can visualize the laser scans. Laser scan, there we are. And let's select the topic here, which is fake scan. Excellent, so let's see. Everything seems to be working okay, the transforms are okay. I'm receiving new messages, but indeed I cannot visualize my laser scans. Where are they? So the user is, is, is right. So everything seems to be working fine. I'm, re I'm receiving the laser messages, but I cannot visualize them in RVs. Okay, so basically here there is a very simple thing you can do. I don't know if you know this, but uh, there is a very simple thing that you can do, which is here in the laser scan uh, properties, you have the size, yes? So here you can modify the size of the fl flat squares that will represent your laser readings. So here, for instance, let's modify from 0 0.01 to 0 0.5. And as you can see here, suddenly, your laser readings appear properly. Yes? So indeed, uh, you are right. So everything was working okay. It's just that the size of your, of your flat square for visualizing these were very small. Yes, and you weren't able to visualize them properly. So, yeah, basically that was it. Here we, you can see perfectly your laser scans. Maybe this is too big, but you can do, I don't know, 0 0.1, for instance. This would be a great uh, size. So, yeah, I hope this video has helped you and you have learned something, something new. And... And that was all. In the description of the video, in the description of the video, I will add a link to a very interesting ROS Basics course, which you can learn online and practicing with simulated uh, robots. And finally, did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comment area. Goodbye and see you in the next video.